is up guys, Shaddix here, and welcome back to another video where today we have some stuff. Look at this. This is our stock for a F. This is our stock for the shop we are going to be making this video, and we are also going to be making our house up there uh, a little bit later, but I want to get the shop done first. Uh, they did just beat the Ender Dragon, which is cool. Uh, so elytras are definitely going to be a thing. I'll probably need to buy one because I don't trust myself to bridge out. Uh, but I do only have seven diamonds. I have a bunch of mini blocks too, which is really cool. Uh, courtesy of Mystic because she ended up uh, buying some and she split them with me, which was cool. Uh, I also provided some of the resources. And by some of the resources, I mean I provided the gold block and that was it. So I owe her some diamonds because she did use up a diamond block on that trade. And I, I kind of feel bad for her, so I'm sorry. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look back into here. Um, so we are missing some clay pots, but we do have enough clay in here. Uh, just smelting away into this. That'll give us enough clay pots for the full nine stacks. I'm not selling them a stack at a time. Um, maybe I will with the seagrass and the regular grass, but things like ferns, uh, cobwebs, vines, lily pads, dead bushes flower pots and the pickles i won't be selling at full stacks i'll probably sell a quarter stack or a half stack for some of them like i'll probably do a half stack of vines for a diamond and um maybe uh, a half stack of pickles for a diamond but then i'll do quarter stack for flower pots quarter for fern uh quarter for cobwebs quarter for lily pads and quarter for dead bush and actually dead bushes i'll do um half a stack for uh, one diamond as well because uh there are a lot of those uh, but the first thing we need to do is we need to gather resources for this build the things i'm going to need i'm going to need uh green concrete green terracotta lime terracotta green wool white wool stripped or stripped dark oak log stripped spruce logs uh, stripped oak logs, stripped jungle logs, and regular terracotta. I'll probably need maybe like five or six stacks of regular terracotta, two stacks of each of the um, green things, so two stacks of green wool, two stacks of lime terracotta, two stacks of green terracotta, and two stacks of green concrete. Shouldn't be too hard. I should only need about one stack of white wool, and one stack of each of the wood should do me fine as well. I might have most of that. Uh, the jungle wood I can get for sure. The oak wood I can also get. And the spruce wood I cannot get just yet. But I will be able to get that soon. And then the terracotta is pretty easy. Uh, but I do need more um, green dye. I'm probably going to need cactus for that. I don't know if I have any. I have nine. I have eight here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll gather some cactus from the desert when I'm gathering some sand for the, um, the whatever it's called. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and gather those resources real quick and I'll be right back before we build the shop because I think I'm gonna time lapse the shop build and I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Thank you, Grazzy. I appreciate it. Grazzy is selling me an elytra and I owe him nine diamonds. I can't forget about that. Uh, but we are here at the shopping district. I have my shop set up here, or the square that my shop is going to be built on. And uh, we already have our cactus smelting for the last of the green dye for the white wool. And we have all of our resources here as well. So we're going to start this time lapse. I'm going to time lapse it for you guys super quickly. Uh, this is going to be so awesome to finally have a shop and I'm so excited. But without any further ado, let's hop right on in to the time lapse. And there it is. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and do the inside of it. I will do the bridge and the stocking in between videos, however. Uh, let's see. How did I want to do this? I think like that, that, and this, I think. Uh, let's go ahead. I do have the water over there. Perfect. I shouldn't need that anymore. The sea pickles, the chests. Uh, this chest should be empty now. Yep. Um someone died 
uh, Mr. Beans died, and I uh, picked up his stuff, put it in this chest here. But this is my chest, don't worry. Uh, but we're going to go in here. We're going to get rid of these torches because uh, these will be replaced with um, some lights in the floors at some point very soon. I just have to make a trip to the nether at some point. Kind of don't want to do that. That's super scary, but we're going to do it anyway because, you know, why not? Uh, let's see. We can leave those there. Going to dig this out. And actually, uh, green wool. There we go. We'll put that like this. And we're going to do the same thing all around here. Luckily, we have enough wool to just line the inside with. I was actually uh, running low on materials, on some anyway. I had literally that this one piece of wool left when it came to um, finishing the build. Luckily, Mystic came along, let me borrow her um, pickaxe, which was very, very sweet of her, and uh, went and gathered me a couple cactus. She put more in here, which was super nice. And she did say I could borrow some wood from her to fuel it, and I will be paying her back for this wood. I promise, guys, don't worry. Uh, but I will need some... <laughs> She's right over there. Hi, Mystic. Oh, that was hilarious. Um, do I have enough terracotta on me already for this part of the build? I believe I do. Uh, we are going to be filling in this top bit here to add in some little waterfalls to add a little bit of um, design to the inside of this to make it look a little bit better. Uh, what we want to do here is we'll do that. And we're going to do this because I want to put sea pickles in there. And you need a, um, if I didn't do that, um, what will happen is the sea pickles will like, I don't know, it'll make the water flow out for some odd reason. I'm not entirely sure why, um, but it does. So, I mean, this is what we're going to do. It's not like it's that big of a problem, but oh well. I will actually refill these as well because I'm sure at some point I'll use them. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and um, also grab some vines and uh, maybe some cobwebs, uh, some seagrass as well to put in the, into the water here uh, to kind of light up the outside. But here, I'm going to fill that with the pickles, uh, all four if we can, just so we get the maximum amount of light. Uh, we'll just do this repeatedly all around the outside um there will be regular lights in the floors all around here as well i will be putting those in again like i said in between uh, the videos or in between me like doing something or another uh, but i just want to make this look nice and pretty with some of the stuff that we're going to be selling here super excited for this and we do have to come up with a name for the shop which also should not be too hard uh let's see can i like do this and then Maybe I'll put, um, I want to take the torches down and put them on the floor because the walls, I don't want to be just blank like this. I, oh, oh, that does not look nice, does it? That looks awful. Ew. Ewie. Okay. Well, it looks like we're taking those down. Unfortunately, that looks horrible. And we are going to go ahead and just take this down as well because I don't just want cobwebs hanging out in the ceilings if I can avoid it. The sea pickles can stay, though. Uh, we will go ahead and put some lights on, though. Uh, we'll put these back for now. And then we'll be bringing our stock here a bit later. Basically, there's going to be light here, 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 and here, along with um, lights all along the inside here as well. I don't have any um, lights to use, but... That shouldn't be too hard to get from, like, the nether or something. <laughs> Hi, Mystic. How's it going? Uh, all right. So this is looking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse, though. But I need to go ahead and head back to my house because we don't have a house. So I got to work on it. I need more leaves and stuff. So that should be exciting. Oh, I love the look of that. And I will name this shop as well. Uh, but I got to go get stock, stink, things like that. Um get prices going, make the bridge, and gather some lights. But I will see you guys back at the house uh, when we start on the, um, the leaving part of the top, I guess. So guys, we're here at the shopping district because I thought I'd show you guys before I head back because it's been a day, the profits my shop has made already. Now, I did have to restock cobwebs and I had to completely restock flower pots twice, but we have made 42 diamonds from this store already. 
And um, we've also, um, hang on a second. We've gone mining, guys. We have, we have some stuff that I need to show you when I get back to the base before we work on the um, work on the actual house because we did some mining with Mystic and we're gonna be doing some mining again. So I'm gonna have more by the end of the video, I guess, or by the time the video is up. I don't know. I'm gonna have more stuff, but I have a ton of stuff way back at the base that I need to show you guys. So we're gonna head over there. Oh my gosh, and it almost didn't take off right. And I will show you guys the stuff that I have gotten from mining as soon as we get back to home. Oh yeah, and I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, yeah, Grazzy sold me an elytra. So now I have an elytra, by the way. So there's that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, they did defeat the Ender Dragon. I was at work, so I did not get a chance to uh, battle it with them. But oh well, at least now we have elytras and shulker boxes, which is super nice. Um, I've been utilizing the shulker boxes for materials during mining trips, so... That looks like my base right here, right? And yes, it is. Here we are. All right, let's see what we have. We currently have some stuff smelting. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of iron smelting. Yeah, and some more gold. We have that in here. And then these are the shulker boxes, guys. First things first, redstone. We have a ton of redstone. Just absolute ton of redstone. Mm -hmm. And then these are our resources we've gathered. We have 11 emeralds just from, I don't remember what, but we have 11 emeralds. We have 8 emerald ore, a ton of lapis, over 2 stacks of coal blocks, over 2 stacks of iron blocks, plus whatever's in the double chest. So that'll be over 3 stacks, I'm sure. And this will be over 2 stacks of gold blocks as well by the time the stuff is done smelting. And now it's time, guys, for the diamonds. We have, oh, you guys aren't even ready for this, ready? You guys ready? Boom. We have seven stacks and 18 diamonds, not including the ones that are in the shop profits chest, which is 42, which is just under another stack. So we have almost eight stacks of diamonds. That's almost a stack of diamond blocks, guys. That's absolutely insane. And there'll be more in here by the time I'm done mining, because me and Mystic, we've been doing these little mining competitions where we'll, um, we'll go mining for about an hour and a half. P.S. Um... Every single time we've done it, I died. I, I've died one time each time we've gone mining. We've done it three times, and what we'll do is we'll go mining for about an hour to two hours, and then we'll see whoever gets more diamonds after fort, uh, fortune threeing their ore, and then whoever has more gets 50% of the person's diamonds that they went up against that they found. And uh, Mystic, we've done this twice, actually, and Mystic's lost both times. By the time you guys see this, we would have done it three times. And it's super fun. Mystic's lost twice. I've lost, or I've won twice in a row now, and I don't think my luck is going to be sticking around forever. I do be dying, though, like a couple times. But I am back at level 30 because every time we um, mine the redstone back up, our pickaxes get refueled and I get a whole bunch of levels, so that's always nice. But now we need to work on this. We have plenty. We have nine stacks of each leaves. Again, that's what we used on the outside of here. I have not added leaves to the outside to kind of get rid of some of these flat areas. I will be doing that, but I want to get the top done here. Uh, if I fly up here, I can kind of show you guys what I have planned for this. Because uh, this should be pretty cool. What I plan on doing is on these lower trees here is where I'm gonna make the full flat base area. And then against these trees, I'm gonna have more of that wall along the outside. So my um, house is like encased around uh, leaves and then the bridges over to the other trees and stuff for the treetop village will be leaving from like right here in this general area. So that sounds really cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on that and I'll show you guys uh, what that looks like when I have completed it, but we do got to sleep because I've uh, been mining a lot and I haven't really slept all that much. And the last place we slept was in the shopping district and I don't want to walk all the way back here if I happen to die. So I will see you guys after I've placed a ton more leaves. All right, guys, ready for the reveal? Boom. Look at that. Let's see if we can like land on this tree. Oh, like that doesn't even really give it that much justice. Do we have a tree a little higher? That we can even just zoom in on. Can we zoom in from here? Oh, we can't. I mean, we could, but it's not going to look as good. But look at this. So this is where the main hut's going to be. There's going to be a staircase uh, leading down. This is about too thick. And there's going to be, um, let's see. There's going to be 
rope bridges leading to these trees over here. And I think I'm going to cut out like a little back alley. Not back alley. More along the lines of like a um, kind of almost like a balcony one that will lead over to the trees in this area up here. Because these are also going to need to be gotten to. Or I will have like another staircase to the outside leading to the top of these trees where then I will have it over here. I don't know. I do need to uh, design a house, though. And I think I'm going to do that in a creative testing world. And I'm going to see how much I have here. But the first thing I want to do, actually... Or actually, we're not going to do that first. I was going to say we can build a... um, uh, Whatever it is. A staircase on the inside here. Which I guess I can show you the inside. We can do that first. But I think I want to build the house first. And then to build the staircase after. Now, the inside here... Needs to be trimmed up for sure to make it look a little bit better. Uh, but the inside is looking awesome. I had to light it up because of mobs and such. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to practice a build in creative mode. And then I'm going to time lapse it up there for you guys. So, um, oh yeah, hang on. Without further ado, let's hop right into the time lapse. Alright guys, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But apparently, I can't think... I, so, I was supposed to time-lapse this build, like, days ago. I haven't been able to design it. I've been in a creative mode for, like, a couple days now. Like, actual real-life days, because this video goes up tomorrow. Like, I'm going to be live-streaming in a couple hours, because it's Saturday. And I haven't come up with an idea I like, so I'm not actually going to time-lapse it. What we're going to do is um work on the inside of the grotto, and we'll do the staircase... Uh, that'll be in there. Where is, um, where's my stuff? I don't have any shears on me right now, so I guess I'm gonna make a couple pairs. And we're gonna see if I can find out where all of my, um, scaffolding is gone, because I do need scaffolding blocks for this. Uh, because I need to trim up the inside as well in order to make the staircase. I have two bits there. Really, where's, wait, where's all my scaffolding? Ah, there it is. I was about to say, I know I have, I've got like a stack or something somewhere, almost. Uh, but if we go on to the inside here, I will be changing the inside. And what I think I'm going to do, I think this is all going to be water here, right? And there might I might have to put up some gates here or something, I don't know, uh, to make sure no mobs get in here. But this is going to be all water, and there's going to be a staircase leading up to the top here. And I've actually des made the design that I want it to be up there, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, but for the starters, I need to trim up the inside of this so everything above these planks just doesn't exist on the inside of the build. I can adjust all the leaves afterwards once the staircase is in, but I need to be able to get the staircase in. If we go up here, which is where we're going to start the staircase, this is the design of the build. This is the top part that comes up to here, and this will be the entrance right here. And there might be a little bit of an overhang of the building as well. I haven't decided that yet. But the actual staircase leading to this, which will be the staircase up into the actual house, is going to start, or going to pop out right about, I think it'll be here, will be a good place for it. And I kind of want it to be four wide if we can. So if we just do this uh, to get the actual shape of it, hopefully, uh, this will be half slab, so it'll come up onto here afterwards. And actually, it'll need to be, I want it to be two half slabs. Right. Alright, so this is where the hole's going to be. We're basically going to be working backwards for this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim up the inside. I'll show you guys what the inside looks like as soon as it's trimmed before I build the staircase, though. So I'll be right back for that. This isn't going to be good, is it? He missed my bed! Oh, sweet. Oh, uh, boy. Well, that sucks. Alright, everything is put back into all these nonsense stuff, and I got basically all my stuff back. Now let's go ahead and sleep, and I'll continue on with this build. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's a little rough around the edges, obviously. And I, again, when I get the staircase in, I will make a little adjustment, I think. Uh, but what we need to do now is grab some wood and turn it into, um, 
half slabs, I think, is what we're going to use. And I think we're going to use spruce. And I'm going to start with these because I really don't feel like using uh, any more of these than I, than I have to. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff. Rockets. And we're going to fly up here. And landed it. Perfect. Uh, we should have kept some as um, planks, to be honest. But oh well. Or not as planks, as full blocks but i don't think it's going to be too big of an issue other than stuff like this now basically what we're going to do is we're going to go all around just like this uh moving down every two steps but then when we get to like here it's going to start to curve around and that one piece is going to need to be destroyed obviously uh, let's go ahead and destroy some of these oh it's raining awesome that just sounds like lag to me it gets so laggy in the jungle when it starts to rain just because of all the different uh, light settings and everything. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make this, and I'm going to have it go all the way down. And then I'm going to decorate it, and I'll show you guys what that is as soon as we're done here. And that might end up being the end of the video, so I'll see you guys when I'm done with the staircase. And it is done, guys. Are you ready? Okay, so I did so much work on this middle bit. And I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and um, work, or not work, show you guys this whole thing. Hello, Enderman. How's it going? Look at this, guys. Ah, oh, so we have some bamboo growing that will eventually um, grow up to look even better. And we have some vines growing from the ceiling, which will eventually come down. And I'll string them up like I did with these ones so they only grow so far down. Uh, so that'll look good when that's all grown. That'll be done by the time next video comes out for sure. And this goes all the way up. We have lights in the walls, spiders in the walls, lamps on the inside railing as well. And it goes all the way up to where our building is going to be up here at the top. And I still have to design it. I'm going to try to design it um, in between videos and do it next video. That's, that's the idea anyway. And I did go mining again, so I have a lot of materials. But this looks even better at night with shaders so that is what i want to show you guys next so i'm going to go ahead and turn shaders on and wait till night time because it just looks absolutely amazing in the dark and as the moon rises we turn around and see the glow from the grotto and now we get to go see what it looks like from the inside i can tell you guys right now it's absolutely beautiful inside Let's go ahead and see if we can just turn our uh, HUD off as well to get the full range of how beautiful this is in here. Look at that. Look at that water. Oh my gosh. This just looks absolutely stunning at night. Oh, these shaders make it look so awesome. Look at that. Ooh. And you could even look down, you see the water at the bottom of the grotto there. And then you just come up out and you see the night sky, the moon rising. Oh man, look at that. And we'll be able to see across the whole different, the whole lit up city up here. It's going to be amazing. Oh man, look at that. Let's go back down here to end off the video, I think. That'll be so much better. Oh my gosh, look at it so much. I love it. I also need to get fences uh, in the door. That way we don't have anything coming in from outside. But that is all for this video, guys. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment down below if you're excited to see um, the house that is going to be built in the next episode. Uh, we also have, I think I'm going to build a farm next episode. My first one. I'm excited for that, and maybe something else. I have no idea just yet. Uh, I think we're going to make another little shop type thing. But that is all for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below all that stuff. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell so you never miss another video from me. You know, of course, because, you know, YouTube likes bells. I like bells. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.